Hey guys, it's Coin Crazy, and I'm back with a 1938D Buffalo Nickel, and this is graded MS65, and I know uh, many of you guys have never seen an MS Buffalo Nickel, and this thing is a beauty. This is one of my favorite coins in my whole collection. I paid uh, 50 bucks for it, and it is a beautiful coin, no scratches, nothing. Just an uncirculated, just fantastic example of the buffalo nickel. And look at that. Tons of luster. No bag marks or anything like that. Just a beautiful coin. I could not believe it when this came. I thought, wow, I've never seen one that nice before. Um, I have a little bit of a buffalo nickel collection. Let me pull it out here. So it's, And it's not the nicest book. This is actually a relative's book. They passed away and I started working on it and I just haven't ever finished it. Kind of low grade coins in many instances. Um, I do have a 1915S, which is really nice. And I do have some decent coins. That 1916 isn't too bad. All of them have the dates. But uh, I still have quite a bit. And I do have the Variety 1, Variety 2 in my typesets. But, you know, some of them are kind of missing the dates a little bit. I really have this back page pretty full. But, uh, anyway, so, you know, normally when you see these Buffalo Nickels, they're, they look of this quality. They're kind of low grade. They're, their dates are rubbed off. Uh, they've been nicodated. You normally don't see them in this grade. And you can pick these up in this grade because in 1938, they made a ton of these. And the guy uh, that runs PCGS, David, 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 uh, oh, whatever his name is, he said that it's really difficult to find a buffalo nickel that's actually in bad condition from uh, this year. And let's see how many they made. In 1938, they made 7,020,000. Uh, Yes, uh, 7 million, uh, 20,000 of these things. And in just in G4, they're worth 350. In MS63, they're 36 bucks. So about 50 bucks that I paid for this is probably overpaying just a slight, slightly, but not, not enough to make me complain. This is a beautiful coin. And uh, like I said, you can pick one of these up really, really cheap. And if you check, Always look at those mint marks, because someone may not have paid to get it attributed. And I believe, I believe you have to pay for them to attribute it at NGC like you do PCGS. So you always want to look at that mint mark, because you never know. You may have a coin that's more valuable on your hand, where they just simply haven't looked at that mint mark or maybe they have but they haven't you know designated it so I'll have to look at that I never have done that and you know the red book gives you some good examples if you have that it doesn't make the coin go up too much there's a 1938 D over S and that goes up to 55 to 80 bucks in that in this grade so it does shoot it up a little bit and uh, I guess they only made them in Denver in 1938. So they did not make them in Philadelphia or in any other Met San Francisco, just Denver. So very, very, very cool. And like I said, if you guys don't have a Buffalo Nickel in high grade, you should definitely get one because they're cheap and they're really cool to have, really nice to look at. And it's just gonna, you're gonna go, wow, I've never seen one this nice before. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and please like, comment, and subscribe.